Hi, I'm Peter Sweet. Everyone here at the Peter Sweet Law Group are dedicated to getting the results that you need. I was rear-ended, but nobody believed I was injured. But Peter Sweet helped me. That's right. I believed her and got her money for her pain and suffering. I lost my job, but Peter Sweet got me the severance I deserve. That's right. You have rights. My son was bitten by a dog. We were so traumatized. <sighs> Nobody should have to go through that kind of pain and agony with their loved ones. We're here to help. Peter, help me. I want to kill my wife. <laughs> it would be easier to get a divorce. Let me help you with that. So call the Peter Sweet Law Group. What a tool. Hey, morning, Doug. Oh, hi, Mr. Benson. Uh, do you mind if I just go downstairs? And no. Go? So you're ready for day two? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so your mother's testimony yesterday mm -hmm. didn't help as much as I thought. In fact, it kind of hurt. Oh. But fortunately, we have your girlfriend today, so she should be able to confirm most of your yeah, story. Yeah, about that. Um, so she's not coming. What do you mean she's not coming? Well, we got into this big argument yesterday, and she stormed off, and I, I just don't know where she is. But she's your alibi. Look, no offense to you or anything, but I think I can testify for myself perfectly well. You know, you can't lie on the stand. I wasn't going to lie. I just have this feeling that you might lie. It, it won't be a lie. Because you're going to be under oath. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. You're going to swear to tell the truth. Yeah. OK. Another one of Benson's clients. Gord, what's going on? Yeah, tell the judge we're going to be changing our plea. Okay. I'm bursting out of the thing, spinning around. It's crazy. Yeah? Oh, I gotta go. Hey, Gordo, you sure know how to pick them. Well, you can't be too choosy about your clients. Sure, you can. Hey, don't you and I have a trial together? No, it's settled. You should check with your staff more often. Settled? That's too bad. No, not really. Yes, really. A longer trial means a bigger payday. Well, maybe for you and I, but this way both our clients are happy. Sure, if you think that's important. So, last couple of days for Judge Walsh, eh? Yeah, about time he retired. Actually, it's about 10 years too late. Frank's having a party Friday night. Yeah, I got the email. Is the judge going to be there, or are we celebrating without him? Oh, he'll be there all right. Frank wants one last opportunity to suck up to him before he goes. Man, you need to get a new car. Maybe not a new car, just one from this millennium. Release the hounds. I got a bad haircut. I want to sue. Bill Gates stole windows from me. Here's all the proof. I want to be emancipated. You know what I mean? My mom. She, like, makes me do chores. I'm not her slave. Tommy's supposed to go to the prom with me, but now he's going with Allison. Who can I sue? I got this complaint from the city about my dog, but I just don't understand what the problem. Sparky, you've been quiet. Mommy's busy right now. You see... This is such a misunderstanding. I don't know why she's so upset. The restraining order here says 100 feet. 100 meters! There you are. Is my son getting out? 
He should have been out last night. Good morning, Mrs. Darwell. Uh, as I told you last night when you called me at 3 a.m., your son was drunk and uncooperative when the police arrested him. But he did nothing wrong. Well, it's likely he'll be released now that he's had a chance to sober up. They'll bring him up and we'll see what the Crown wants to do. What do you mean? They might not release him? Well, You it's... said you'd have to talk to the Crown. You might not be able to get him out. I said it's probable. He says he can get him out. You were talking to him about this case? You weren't here. My son needs to get out. He should have been out yesterday. Mrs. Darwell, nobody can guarantee you. He can. He can. I want him for my son. What the hell are you doing talking to my clients? Oh, I didn't know she was one of your clients. She was acting like she needed a lawyer and some advice. Sorry. Scooping clients is low even for you. Seriously, I did not know she was one of your clients. Well, you had to know she was somebody's client. No, no. I want him for my son. He can get him out. Fine, you'll get my bill. Your bill? You haven't done anything. This is going to drive him crazy. Hey, Gordon, how you doing? <laughs> Good. Heard you had a hard time at court the other day. Does everybody know? Well, Pete Sweet's been making sure that everyone's heard about it. What a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> if you believe in karma, someday he'll get his. Yeah. Okay. I just have to tell someone, seeing as I couldn't be around to catch the fireworks. Somebody did this to a friend of mine in college. It was a riot. I just left a note on the windshield of Sweet's car. I made up a phony name and a phony number. <laughs> so a guy named Mario left the note. Son of a... So, where do we start, gentlemen? First, let me tell you that 911 call was inappropriate. Look, I'm just... We have a protocol. First you come down to the station, and then you fill out a vehicle accident report. You know this. Gentlemen, I'm trying to preserve evidence in case the CSI people want to take tire impressions, this sort of thing. I hope you're joking. It was a small scratch. I wouldn't have even noticed it if you hadn't pointed it out, and almost not even then. That is not the point. This is what's wrong with the world today. No respect for people, no respect for rules, no respect for people's property. I can't see this being a priority case. Where are you going to start? Well, we can start by looking at this. The guy left his name and his number. If 
the last number is missing. Right, and there are an infinite number of possibilities as to what that number could be. Oh, maybe as many as, um, oh, I don't know, 10? You could just call all those numbers and ask for Mario. No, you could call all those numbers. Or one of your secretaries. Or maybe there's something you could use to help you find out who that number belongs to. Hmm. Some kind of tool to find numbers. I got it. Why don't you Google a reverse directory on that smartphone I know you have? I could have done that. Yes! yes. No, no, I didn't mean, not here. You have five minutes. I don't really care for your attitude. You like a lot less than five minutes. East Hill Street. M. Morelli. M. A. R. E. There you go. Well, gentlemen, thank you both so very much for your time. Hey, you're very welcome. Was that the great Peter Sweet from the Peter Sweet Law Group? The very same. Seems like more of a tool than he usually is. Tell me about it. I heard a funny story about him today. Actually, it's about his car. Oh, no, not his precious, precious car. Why, what's the problem? Oh, somebody hit his car. Really? Left a note on his windshield. <laughs> so what's your funny story? Actually, it just got funnier. Mr. Morelli here. No, he's at work. Oh, where does he work? Who are you? Are you his parole officer? No, I I have a check for Mike Morelli is the customer lounge. Mike Morelli is the customer lounge. You son of a So it turns out he was at work this morning, all morning, and the guys at the shop can vouch for him. Also, his name's not Mario, it's Mike. Looks like we're back to square one. Look, this has to stop. Nobody hit your car. Yes, someone did. No, he left a note. No, it was a joke. What? Somebody left a note as a joke. Nobody hit your car. How do you know this? Somebody told us. It was a scratch. It was a small scratch. It could have happened any time. You wouldn't have even noticed it if you weren't looking for it. Who did this? That isn't important. Was it that douchebag Charlie Baker? No, it wasn't Charlie, and he really isn't a douchebag. <laughs> it was that weasel Gord Benson. He's always been jealous of me. <laughs> well, okay, good, Gord. Yeah, got me. <laughs> Listen, thanks, guys. You think we should warn Benson? He started it. Dubnik. Hey, buddy. Hi, dear. Hey, Sutter Cole, you owe me a little favor. Okay, uh, what can I do for you? I want you to help me pull a prank on a friend of mine. A prank? Yeah, I want you to arrest him. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I can't no, exactly. No, no, it's it's not for real, just a joke. <laughs> Still, you know, you I just. Put him in the back of your cruiser. Oh, no, no, no. I can't use a cruiser for a prank. I want to think of something. What do you think? I just don't think I can... Listen, I'll just... pay you for your time. A hundred bucks? Well, it's it's just that... Two hundred bucks. I, I just don't think I can... Five hundred? Okay. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. This is 
Walsh. Congratulations on your retirement, Joe. <laughs> I'm retiring. Yeah. Don't mind him. He doesn't have his hearing aid on. You must be excited uh, to have your husband finally retire. Uh, have him at home? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's going to be home all the time. All the time. Excuse me. I need another drink. That's enough. Okay. Yeah. You got the gist of it? All right. Thanks. That was terrific. Nice uh, little trick you played on me there, Gordo. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't try and deny it. You really had me going. Very funny. Frank, the police are here. Uh, the police? I can't be caught with this. Here, Gordo. Take that. What? Hi, Frank. We've had a noise complaint. Eh, doesn't look like a wild party scene. It's, it's my son. It's okay. We'll, we'll tone it down. You dropped something. You dropped something under Marion's chair there. Oh, something under my chair? It's his. It's his. He dropped it in my pocket. No. <laughs> Perfect. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Your rest is good. <laughs> You're coming too. It's his. Let's go. Best party ever, Dad. <laughs> Oh, Peter. Did you get my text? I uh, couldn't make it. I got called in. Sorry. Hope that's all right. No, I did not get your text, and it's not all right. Yeah, yeah whatever. I should sue you. Who, me? You should sue me? You've ruined my good reputation in the legal community. Oh, oh please. First off, you'd have to have a good reputation in the legal community. Children, please. I don't know why we're here. I know you both know that it was baking soda. Baking soda? It was baking soda. You know, for baking. You know, people also use baking soda in their fridges. Some people brush their teeth with it. I've also heard that people use it for tarnished silver. Yeah, I've heard that too. I've never had that problem though. I take care of my silver. Look, why'd you do it? Do what? You've always been so jealous of me. Why, because I drive a Porsche? Please. You could drive one too. I don't want it to listen. Don't be mad at me for being successful. So I go out and get things done. There's nothing stopping you. Oh, please. You know what they say about opportunity? They say it doesn't knock, it, it flutters like a butterfly. Which means, you know, you have to be waiting and watching for it. Well, excuse me if I don't sit around waiting for the flutter. I'm standing in the doorway, and the doorway's wide open. You? You're sitting on the toilet with your pants around your ankles, hoping that opportunity leans against the doorbell and waits for you to wash your hands and get your zipper done up. What? Look, you may not be aggressive like me, but don't. Don't look down your nose at me just because I'm successful. <laughs> it's not that you're successful. It's that you're so in your face about it. Okay, guys. We're gonna let you go. Now, I don't want any repeat of this. You got that? Good. Don't you think we have enough problems to deal with? We don't need jokers like you wasting our time. Okay, then. Get out of here. Um, we left our cars back at Frank's. Is it possible for you guys to give us a ride home? No. No. We'll call you a cab. One cab. Share it. Kiss and make up. Make nice. Now get lost. Practical jokes. It's always fun at first. Then someone's left holding a bag of baking soda. I guess I could get a new car. A nice car. <laughs> you want my Porsche? It's got a scratch on it. <laughs> S 
son of a... My neighbor keeps looking at me. Can you make him stop? I think my ex has a girlfriend. He shouldn't be having any fun, because I sure as hell am not. changes I want in my will. Everything's going to my poodle, Princess Tika. The cat gets nothing. I bet that guy I see on TV would take my case. I'm the worst liar in the world. Why did I choose a life of crime?